Noah. I'm a personal trainer at Snap Fitness Blizmore. Today, I want to talk to you about a movement called the Good Morning. One of the most important muscle groups to train is the posterior chain. That's the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. In the gym, what you'd normally use to train it are the deadlifts, the kettlebell swings, and the hip thrusts. Here's what it looks like. Standing straight up, you brace your core, then you hinge your hips back. You go as far as your hamstrings let you, and you don't bend the knees all that much. Then you thrust forward. It's really important to keep the core braced as tight as possible all throughout the movement. This keeps your spine safe and proper alignment. The hips need to hinge backwards. All that really means is you keep your butt as sticking far back as possible. The knees do not bend. This is not a squat. You just hinge your hips backwards, keeping the knees relatively straight. When you do the good morning in the gym, the barbell is sitting on your back. When you're at home, you can hold an object in front of you. That way you can get more out of less weight. Let me show you how to do it at home. You can take a sturdy backpack and fill it with whatever you've got lying around the house. It can be a bag of salt, a bag of sand, any free weights you have lying around, as long as it can fit, as long as it doesn't tear open. And then you just bear hug it like this. Now with the added weight, the movement becomes more difficult and the posterior chain has to work extra hard. It's important when doing the good morning to always be safe. When doing the movement, only move back as far as your hamstrings let you. And if you start to feel any pain in your lower back, adjust the weight to a more manageable level. That's all for today. If you want more tips, check out Snap Fitness Lismore and Noah Fitness Training on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for stopping by.